okay so up to 0 0.01 we only have 90 degrees it's gonna be this up to 0 0.1 we have 90 degrees here but also it's increasing with 45 dB per decade right so at this point it's gonna reach 135 it's like we got 45 dB per decade after one decade it's gonna be 90 plus 45 so we took this one into account from here to here we are here and we have two ramps one of them 45 the other one also 45 so it's gonna go 90 degrees per decade so we are at 135 135 plus 90 it's gonna be 225 so it's going to go up to 225 and this is this supposed to be steeper than this one so if this is 135 this is going to go to 225 okay and again from here to here we we have only another 45 db per decade so again it's going to go up another 45 degrees up to 270 right and then it's gonna stay constant so this is gonna be our, the impact of our zeros on the phase here this is 45 degree per decade this is 90 degrees per decade and this is 45 degrees per decade okay now let's see what's the impact of I can get rid of this one. what's the impact of um, poles on the on the face Right, we have one pole here, one and two poles here. Okay. Uh, the impact of this one starts from one decade before, and it goes like this. This is going to be negative forty-five dB uh, degrees per decade, and for this one, it's going to start from here. And because this is a double, double pole, it's going to be the impact of it. It's going to be negative 90 per decade. Okay. So if I add the impact of the poles, you see that up to this point, it's going to be zero then from here to here we only have negative 45 db per decade so it gets to negative 45 right from here to here we have 90 degrees and 45 degrees so they add up so it's going to go down with the slope of negative 135 degrees per decade right and if we started from 135, it goes down to negative 180. Okay, this should be a straight line. Okay, and um, I, I erased this one, but like this negative 90 degrees would continue. So from this point on, we're just going to have uh, another. So in this case, let me just get rid of this now. Don't need it. Right, so here it's just going to be negative 90 degrees because we don't have anything else. So this is going to be negative 90 degrees per decade. It has to be steeper, a little bit steeper. So it's going to go up to negative 270 at, at this one and then there are no more poles and the impact of the poles cancel out, uh, sorry, the stop. 
so we don't have any more uh, ramps anymore okay so now this is the impact of our zeros this is the impact of our poles we just have to add them up okay so um, you, you actually can see that we are lucky that uh, the impact of our poles start once the impact of our zeros finish right so I can just like basically do this here right and then here we have a negative 45 dB per decade so this is gonna go down with the slope of negative 45 dB per decade and then it's gonna go so it comes to if this was it comes to 225 and then from here to here it's gonna go with the slope of negative 135 de degree per decade right so we are at 225 minus 135 it's gonna be 90 so it's gonna reach 90 degrees at this point and then it's gonna go down with the slope of negative 90 db degrees per decade so it means that at this point it's gonna reach zero and this is gonna be our body plot this is like a very very complicated body plot for this course I'm never gonna have anything similar to this in the exam but I just wanted you to see how this works right uh, maybe just go over this example one time and see if you can understand it but what you should be expecting in the course final exam would be something like this 1 plus j omega 100 let's say times 1 plus j omega 0 0.1 right not more than three poles and zeros okay so this is um what i wanted to tell you and i do a body plot for you guys another example i hope this was clear um okay good good luck all the best